in today's video I'm gonna tell you how I transform from this to this and I did this using only six products which are beginner friendly and affordable too. This is an everyday easy and simple makeup look. If you're hearing background noises then don't mind guys it's just my kids um, playing in the front hall. Let's dive right into the video now. First step is to ensure that our face is ultra clean because we aren't going to use a lot of products. So I'm taking the micellar cleansing water and a cotton pad and wiping my face clean. Second step is to prep the skin. I'm moisturizing my face using Nivea moisturizing cream. I'm applying a generous amount and massaging well on my neck and my face. During winter time, a dewy, glowy skin looks great. I'm using a dewy primer today. This one is from the Wet n Wild Photo Focus range. Using a dewy primer will give a natural glow from within feel after applying the makeup. You can see how instantly this primer gives a beautiful glow to the face. My face looks extremely hydrated and dewy. Next, I am taking a skin tone match concealer. This one is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Medium Bisque. As I am using only concealer to cover up my blemishes, I am opting for an exact skin tone match concealer. If you use a lighter shade of concealer, then your blemishes would turn grey. Also, if you have a lot of dark circles, use an orange corrector underneath the concealer. I'm taking just a small amount of concealer and applying it under my eyes and blending it with my fingers itself. Now I'm taking a little concealer and applying it on my smile lines and the sides of my nose to cover up the pigmentation on my face. I know my face looks dead now so to bring back some life to my face I'm gonna apply some blush. I'm using a pinkish peach lipstick as my blush today. This one is from Nykaa Soft Matte Lipstick range in the shade Walk the Walk. This shade looks wonderful on light to medium and fair skin tones. I am applying some at the back of my hand and I am using my fingers to blend the product on my skin. I am not taking the product to the apples of my cheek as I do not want rounder cheeks. I wanted a lifted cheek illusion so I am applying usually where I apply my contour but slightly higher and then blending it well with my fingers. Applying blush definitely made my face look more natural, alive and fresh. Now we're gonna set everything in place using a loose powder. I'm using the Maybelline loose powder in the shade medium slash deep. You can skip the step if your skin is extremely dry. Mine is combination skin so I'm setting my face. For oily skin people, do not forget to set your face with a translucent or loose powder for long lasting makeup results. As you can see, this powder instantly mattified my skin and most of the extra glow is gone leaving me with a wonderful natural glowing skin. I forgot to moisturize my lips so I'm applying a lip balm now. I'm giving some time for the lip balm to settle on my lips. Now moving on to my eyes, I'm using the all time classic eyeliner from Lakme. This is one of the most affordable eyeliners and it lasts pretty decent amount of time too. I'm drawing a small wing because I never go out without my eyeliner. I love to enhance my eyes so I never ever ever skip on this part. Eyebrows give a good structure to the face. I am using my mascara here from My Glam. If you have naturally fuller eyebrows then you can use any waterproof mascara lightly on the brows to just give it a good definition. 
If you don't have fuller brows, then you can opt for powder eyebrow products since they give a natural look. I'm using the same mascara on my eyelashes too and giving it a good two coats. I'm taking the same Nykaa Soft Matte Lipstick and applying it on the lips. You can remove the extra lip balm before applying the lipstick actually. But if you apply on top of the balm, you would get a glossy and shinier effect. To set and lock everything in place, I'm using the LA Colors Setting Spray and letting my face air dry. When you use a setting spray, your face looks more natural as the powder products blend into the skin, giving a seamless finish. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then do leave me a like. And if you're recreating this look, then do not forget to tag me. If you have stuck till the end, then I'm sure you would have subscribed too. Thanks for joining the squad. I hope you like it here. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Until then, bye.